Southcraft to traffic, uh, model aircraft will be in operation off the local runway. Hey guys, Beast Snappy here. I'm here with Brad. Hey Brad, how are you? Yeah, good thanks mate. How are you? I'm good. Brad is the owner of this amazing remote controlled F-16. And so what makes this aircraft unique? Well, this particular one was originally designed to be an electric powered plane. Yep. Um, so that's how the manufacturer sends it to you. Yep. So what uh, myself and, and others do as part of the hobby now with the new type of turbine engines that are available, yep. um, the company that provides this one's called Zykoi. Uh, they make these little miniature turbine engines that are about the size of a Coke can. Yep. Um, myself and uh, our fellow jet pilots, we, we love the realism and the scale, smell and the sound of a, <laughs> of a jet. Yeah. So what better than to get rid of the electric, which sounds like a vacuum cleaner, and <laughs> put a um, real turbine. Yeah. So Brad, you've put a real turbine in here. Yep. I assume there would be some weight here. How do you balance that now? Um, well, I guess the... These little new turbines are actually quite similar in weight to the electric fan that's in there, but yeah, they are yeah. a little bit heavier. Um, and you do have to put a fuel tank in here, which which has an extra weight. So normally an electric fan would be there and you'd have a battery, a big fat battery here. Yeah. So as you can see, there's no battery because you don't need to run the electric fan, but you need fuel. Now, because the fuel sits here now, not yep. at the front, uh, we have to balance it by putting a heap of batteries here at the nose. Okay. Uh, you'll see there's a bit of lead, lead in the nose there. And there's some lead under here as well, a bit of lead there, just to sort of balance it. So, well, they say tail heavy planes fly once. So. <laughs> so, this is the first flight this plane has ever done. So, would you need to get this certified or can you just take off? The CASA requires you yep. under 25 kilos, they don't really care too much. Yep. Um, so, they will let you fly it. But within the uh, MAAA that we fly under, uh, you need to get a, a check. So, here's Ian the certifier. Hey, Ian. Good on, mate. So, it's just a remote control aeroplane. Why does it need to get certified? And what sort of things are you looking for here? Uh, these things fly at, at very high speed. Yeah. And because they're high speed, they have lots of uh, stresses and strains. We check all the flying surfaces, all the connections, and as much as we can to make it completely safe prior to its takeoff. So the tricky part is we're actually flying at a real airport. They're about to winch launch a glider, so then the rope will drop and it might drop on the cars. So we have to move all the cars right now quickly. Next step is to fuel it up. So, yep, electric pump, lipo battery, and then that's just the shutoff valve, so you open that up. Pretty easy. <laughs> yep, and then underneath you'll see it squirt fuel out once it's full. So what's the expected flight time? Uh, oh, probably get four minutes, maybe. Oh, well. So Brad, what are we doing here? Um, yep, so we're just going to start the engine up, and I just want to make sure, because uh, the, air, the air intake is through the back of the engine there, I can't get a lot through the nose here because of the tanks in the way. So I just want to make sure it doesn't run too hot. Yeah. And this will be the last check and then it will be, um, all the checks are sort of done and it's ready to fly. So this gets quite loud. If I flick the switch, it goes to ready. Yeah. See the turbine is now ready to start. This is the first start off here. I'm gonna stand back. to 440 degrees. All right guys, this is gonna be the first flight. What's it gonna sound like? Is it gonna take off? What's gonna happen? We don't know yet. Southcraft to traffic, uh, model aircraft will be in operation off the local runway for the next five minutes.
Oh, that wasn't too stuff. good, no! Okay. Rudder's ripped off. The problem is it's all bruised now. It actually broke nice and clean actually. Oh, there you go. You get to see, you get to see the 3D printed tank now. There you go, that's oh, my yeah. 3D printed fuel tank. So that was an amazing flight, but just that little accident at the end. But thank you for taking the time to show us your big boys toy. No worries at all. Glad I could help. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and check this video out. Be snappy out.